Welcome to Messenger Online, and uh, we're up to week two of the SA NFL Finals, which means two things. First of all, there's four teams left in the competition in the race for the Premiership. Secondly, it means that we're up to the biggest night in the SA NFL calendar, the McGarry Medal, which is why we're here at the Adelaide Entertainment Centre. We're waiting for the biggest names in the game to start arriving, and uh, just as importantly, we're waiting for the, uh, the wives and girlfriends to roll up as well, which is why we've brought along Francesca to help us out and uh, to find some of the best and worst dressed in the evening. That's right, Reese. I think we're going to expect the glamour stakes to be high this evening and uh, as much as you guys are into your footy us girls are into our fashion Jason Buckets McKenzie Jace, any chance tonight of polling a few do you think? I'll be lucky, lucky to get a vote I think mate um, Shane Harris under 19 medalist, yeah, obviously your first McGarry medal night, how does it feel? Yeah, no, it's good, uh, a bit nervous though Yeah. and uh, have you put any, got any words planned for when you get up and collect the medal? Uh, I've got it written down so, uh, so I don't forget so uh, just a couple of thank yous and whatnot Amelia, what are you, who are you wearing tonight? Well, my family friend designed this dress for me, so it's one of a kind. Oh, excellent. <laughs> yes. And uh, what are you looking forward to most tonight? Oh, Shane's speech. <laughs> No, it's always very exciting. I remember when I went up with Jay Cheedy, who was obviously a big chance to win it again tonight. But uh, no, it was, it was pretty nerve wracking throughout the night. And uh, yeah, I guess the main thing is make sure you thank your wife if you win. And, uh, <laughs> you did forget that. <laughs> I that so, yeah. and Marnie, you're looking lovely this evening. Can you tell us where you got your dress from? I actually got it from David Jones. Yes. <laughs> lovely. And did you pick it out especially for this evening? Or? It's been in the wardrobe for a while. <laughs> What are you looking forward to most for tonight? A night out without the kids. <laughs> <laughs> and what about this suit, mate? Looking pretty sharp for a boat that had a uh, shoulder operation only about a month ago. Where'd you dig it up from? Uh, it's actually a freebie I got from the AIS, so yeah, just uh, making the most of it, so get, get all the use of it out of it as I can. And, uh, where's the girl on the arm? Uh, he's standing just over there, yeah, big Maddie Martin, so I uh, couldn't, couldn't find a woman, couldn't dig one up, so just brought Maddie along. So. Mark McKenzie, he's, uh, the papers and the bookmakers are saying you're the favourite, mate. Any nerves going into the night? Uh, look, not really at all. I'm not expecting too much tonight. Just looking to have a uh, nice, relaxing, enjoyable night with the boys, so uh, yeah, it should be good. How long did it take you to get ready tonight? Uh, I took the afternoon off work and sort of just had the whole afternoon just steadily getting ready. Yeah. And who took longer to get ready? Well, definitely, definitely <laughs> Stacey. You know, it took me about five minutes. So. <laughs> well, it's, it's nice to come here with no expectations tonight and just sit and have a good night and uh, the eventual winner, yeah, has got to make a speech and so hopefully, uh, it's, yeah, with about a couple of rounds to go, if he's in front, it starts to get a little bit nervous. Yeah. Now, Rebecca, you've got a show-stopping number on tonight. Can you tell us where you got it from? Sure, it's from Muse Boutique and it's by a designer called Bora. Bora. I think they designed Jennifer Hawkins' Miss Universe dress. Wow, yeah, yeah. really special. And how long did it take you to get ready today? Well, I got my hair and makeup done, and it took that took about two hours. And then I got home, and I had about ten minutes left, so <laughs> threw the dress on and came. Who took longer to get ready out of the two of you? Oh. I think he did actually, because I had everything done. Great, good to see that you've gone for the matching colour in yeah, the uh, uh, pocket. You've... I don't know if it'll last long. It's, it keeps falling out, so uh, we might just do it for the fun. And, and where's uh, the girl tonight, James? <coughs> good question. She's probably sitting home feeling sorry for herself, uh, unfortunately. But um, uh, just the boys. Tonight. Tonight. Having a big night out, planning on a big one? <coughs> no, 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 finals. So, the last few years we've had uh, a really good night at McGarry, but uh, not this year because uh, big game on Sunday. So, you'll be on lemonade, hey? Exactly right. <laughs> you wouldn't be planning on a, a big night for yourself, a massive game on, uh, on Sunday? Oh, no. Yeah, it's a pretty big game, and uh, you know, they, they get bigger and bigger every time you go into the finals. So, uh, yeah, no, it'll be a pretty low key night. Where are the Gowans twins? We haven't seen them walk through yet. No, they're having a bit of a rest tonight. I think they've been in the last six or seven, so I think they're having a bit of a rest tonight just to rest their weary bodies. And what's your favourite thing about having a um, footy playing husband? Yeah. Um, probably the social side of it, these sorts of things. Yeah, going out with the girls. What are doing? We've got Linnell Dynamos, Byron Murphy, and Ben Mills here. Ben? Big night or pretty quiet for the Glenelg table? Yeah, it's uh, be pretty quiet uh, compared to previous years, mate. But um, it's the way you want it, you know. You, uh, you always get uh, envy of the other tables drinking water all night. So now it's our turn. It's good. Yeah. And Lydia, where have you? Where did you get your dress from this night? I got it from Miss Gladys, so just in the city, in Rundle Street. Yeah. Beautiful. And how long did it take you to get ready? Um, actually, I took the day off work today, so too long, I think. <laughs> it's meant to be working. <laughs> <laughs> and who's your lovely lady here? Uh, this is Cassie Smith, my girlfriend. 
Cassie, can you tell us who you're wearing tonight? Uh, it's a lily dress. I got it at Nikki Bell in Bansard. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. okay. You know, what's it like for folks that walk away with the McGarry medal tonight? Oh, look, it's pretty special and, um, you know, it's a part of a elite club as well. So um, whoever walks away with it tonight, fantastic effort. Leanne, you're looking lovely tonight. Can you tell us where you got your frock from? Uh, yes, good question. <laughs> <laughs> did you make it? Yeah, of course I did. Sewed it? Uh, no, no, I didn't. didn't. Oh, no, uh, I actually got it from Maya. I yeah. can't let John go without asking this. The Mighty Hawks, mate, they're up and about. Yes, they are looking good. So I'd uh, be pretty excited on Saturday night. So hopefully they can go up and win and uh, play in next week's grand final. It'd be great. Uh, whose hair took longer to do tonight? Probably mine. Yours. Yeah. Probably mine, yeah. How long, how long are long we staying here? <laughs> You straightened it. Yeah, 15 or so. And half 15? Half, an hour, yeah, half hour? What do you do to it, Steve? Just run the old straightener through it? Or? Yeah, it's a bit of a straightener and a few products in there, nothing too much. And Carly, what did you do to your hair? Oh, I went to the hairdresser, so I didn't really have to do anything for about 20 minutes. So. We're here with the Sturt Football Club ladies who have been sitting in the car park waiting for the boys to arrive from training. Girls, where are they? At training! <laughs> have you spoken to them yet? Yeah, yeah. Apparently they're on their way. And who? So. Girls, I can see you've all got good taste, but who's dressing the boys tonight? <laughs> no one. <laughs> Them. Are they getting changed in the change room yes. before they're running up here? Yep. Pretty much. What can we expect? <laughs> a black suit, a black tie. Who knows? Whatever they've got in the wardrobe. <laughs> Hopefully they've shaved. Yeah. yeah. Remember the aftershave. <laughs> Very good. And can you each say um, who or where you got your dress from today? Uh, my dress is from 2U. It's a Cooper Street dress. Mine's from Lisa Brown in Melbourne. Mine's my best friend's dress, because <laughs> I'm pregnant, she was pregnant, so I borrowed it from her wardrobe. <laughs> and mine's just from David Jones, it's sass. Um, look, I think, hopefully Sheeds or Cranny, they're certainly the favourites, but um, yeah, look, um, Sheeds, he was just practising his speech inside, so... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 dragon race. No, it's, hopefully it's a good night, but we've got bigger fish to fry on Sunday. Huh? Of course, and how did you go getting changed in the change rooms, all squashed in together down Adelaide Oval and doing each other's ties up, or what happened? Uh, yeah, Gummy, do we able to do your time? Yeah, Ch Chambo just, needs a bit of help. A <laughs> he's still on his way, is he? Yeah, he's still on his way. So. Yeah, they can yeah. 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 It's funny. Yeah. I know. Yeah, cricket. I was just saying it before. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We all yeah. here and there were a few other TV cameras floating around. Everyone kept stepping on each other. Everyone arrived at once. Hello, boys. How are you guys? Hello, guys. So true. So you're probably in the toughest position of all. How are you? Yeah, good on you. Have fun, guys. Thank you.